Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June, June 13th through the 19th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. I almost said January for you. I'm like, what the hell? <clears throat> We're either going back in time or in the future. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, Saji. Let's see what's going on here. Um, the overall energy for the reading, the judgment card. Oh, man. Uh, um, choices need to be made here. I feel like it's all part of a big choice, but I don't feel like the choice is happening now, necessarily. I don't know. Uh, in the recent past, the Ace of Swords, the Justice, the Ace of Cups, really wanting for things to be good, for things to be aligned, for things to be balanced in a situation. There was a whole lot of love being sent into a situation. There was a whole lot of doing um, around that to make it better, to make it balanced. In the current situation, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess. It looks like things are going well. Um, there's definitely a sense of exchange of energies here and it feels like you're you feel at least that it's it's going okay in in terms of the exchange that's happening between the two of you um energetically at least if not physically too in the immediate future the chariot the six of wands the three of pentacles these are definitely energies of things are building up you know there's a partnership that's showing up that's building up um, there's all sorts of things that are kind of coming together in a quite interesting way. Now, let's see. Let's see if that's the case. Let's clarify it. Let me clarify the judgment card. The Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Now, the decision that needs to be made here uh, is whether or not your happiness depends on somebody else's actions. Because I feel like for right now, it's very dependent on that. If they show up, if they text me, if they call, if they, 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 then I'm okay. I'm happy. Okay. Well, uh, you know, okay, you're, you are showing me you're happy if that happens, but you're also showing me that's very self-deceptive, you know. Um, so, are you making somebody responsible for your own happiness here? Or is it you that needs to be responsible for that? That's the choice. That's the decision that needs to be made here. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's do the justice card in the recent past. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. The energies are good there. The energies are definitely those of, look, I want for things to work out. I'm willing to put in the work. I'm willing to do whatever it takes for things to work out. And it does seem to create um, an energy that works for the situation. There's definitely an exchange. There's definitely an equal give and take at some point here. Um, now, I don't know if that's tied up to the desire of this or if this actually turned out like that, where things were looking like they were balanced. Let's do the Ace of Cups in the recent past. 
Seven of Pentacles, uh, Page of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay. All right. I don't know. I see two energies coming together, you know, meeting halfway, wanting to create happiness, wanting to work on something and just bring bring in happiness to the table. And I kind of get the sense that at some point it did happen. And I kind of get a sense that it does happen occasionally here in this situation where you two meet halfway and you're making this happen. Um, let me see the three of cups. In the current situation, the magician, the nine of swords, the page of wands. That, that's where I'm saying occasionally because I see that other times it's just shown up as a desire versus how it really is happening. So it's hard for me to distinguish between what's your desire and what's reality here um for right now in the current situation you're showing up as i hope this happens i hope we can keep it like this in a loving kind of an energy and a working kind of an energy that builds up into something beautiful but i do see some pain attached to that so that's where it's again kind of hard for me to distinguish if this is what you're trying to manifest and it's not actually happening in reality or if it is happening in reality but you also have some pain attached to it um let's do the eight of wands i do see a whole lot of exchange energetically that's taking place so that could very well mean okay things are going all right but there are some little hold on i dropped a card and i can't find it where the hell did it go ah man hold on i gotta dive in where uh really oh my god hold on oh. you let's see for the eight of wands Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Seven of Wands. That's where it is. There's something standing in the way. So however way it happens, even if it's just energetically, even if it's energetically and physically together, there's something standing in the way of things, kind of getting to that place of, okay, things aren't working out. Let's let them work themselves out until, you know. Um, there's a whole lot of overthinking at some point. There's a whole lot of rejection towards how things are working out and because of that things aren't necessarily working out or building up uh, because of this rejection so there's something standing in the way um, and I kind of get the sense that it belongs to your side of things now I'm not saying they're you know that angel placed on earth and you're like oh let's mess it up no I'm sure there's something on their side too but given that this is your reading it's going to fall on your side as an energy that's standing in the way of this building up. Let's do the High Priestess. Eight of Swords, the Devil, the Ace of Swords. Someone's not listening to their intuition. And again, I'm going to put it on you. Uh, because there's an energy of the mind showing up here. Not the mind, the cluttered mind the the all mess up here kind of a mind and from that place you're making decisions and you're making choices and you say i feel like this is what i need to do it's not i feel because it's not your intuition is not taken into consideration here it's covered up by all the clutter up here so as you make decisions from a very crowded place crowded of fear insecurities doubts all sorts of things that come up that the mind kind of tries to take over with um that is the place that decisions are made from and actions are being taken from uh while you think that's your intuition it's not it's really not 
Let me do the chariot in the immediate future. <clears throat> The Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups. A lot of the actions you're taking, especially around this, <clears throat> you're taking them out of your own fear of losing this. Um, and I can understand that. I can relate to that. We've all been there. We've all done that. It's just a matter of understanding that and uh, acknowledging that. Because a lot of the times we're like, no, it's because I love them. It's because, oh my God, if you knew how I felt. The more you push on that, the more I'll push on look into that fear that's making you feel, you know, what you feel. Um, <clears throat> especially when I see these energies of the mind here. And the five of pentacles is definitely here. Um, side by side with how you feel. Now, I'm not saying you don't love them and you don't feel what you feel because I do see it here. But it goes hand in hand with your own fear. And your actions and your everything that you're maneuvering through this are being led by the fear more than by the love. Because the love is covered up by the mind here. The mind is covering up your intuition, your love, your sense of, let me be honest with how I feel. Um, <clears throat> and that's when the mind wins. There's definitely a war between the mind and the heart here for you. And for now, the mind is winning, but I feel like you, you're not necessarily seeing that. I feel like you think, think being the keyword, that no, it's not the mind that's winning. It's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, I would say no. I would say it's still the mind. Let's do the six of wands. Again, not to take away from how you feel, because I do see that you feel a lot too. But make sure that's where you're coming from not from what you think you feel you know for the six of wands you get the three of pentacles the eight of wands the king of wands there it is all right taking it one step at a time taking it from that place so let me <sighs> let me not act from only emotions and only mind let me act with what it is that I have in front of me. And based on that, let's see where we're going. And the minute you decide that, but that has to make sense for you. Because if you're thinking about that from a place of the mind, then it's the mind taking over. Um, where you think you see things as they are, and that's how you're acting upon things, as what they appear in front of you. And when that happens, there's definitely a... a smoother kind of energy at play there's definitely a, a sense of this eight of wands showing up as being natural organic you know it's not forced by your resistance or your fear or your heart it's somewhere in the neutral area where it's like okay let me see what what it's coming what, what's coming towards me you know what it's coming as and then let me respond to it naturally there's a there's a natural kind of element to this that falls into place for the three of pentacles in the immediate future you get the knight of pentacles the king of pentacles the three of wands yeah working with these energies in a different kind of a way because again once you take them as they come not as what you expect them to be not as what you fear them to be not as what you feel about them, but just taking them as they come. They develop a new, a, a new shape, a new form for the situation. And it's looking like it's slower, and it's looking like it's smoother, but it's looking a little bit better, you know? A little bit more... Yeah, okay, I'll say it again, natural, but... It seems like it annoys you a little bit because of it, because it's so slow. Even if it feels better with everything, it's looking a little bit annoying to you because it's so slow. You know, like, I don't have time for this. Weather. You know? Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. 
the hangman, the magician, the nine of pentacles. All right, you're trying your best to actually manifest this state of just being, of just taking a step back from the mind, from the heart, from the, everything that's going on and just being present with what is. And the minute that happens, as I said, the energy starts shifting and it gives you a sense of self-empowerment. It gives you a sense of different. It's just different. I don't know how to explain it. It's different and it feels better. A little annoying because it's looking like you have to slow down almost. And you know, you're a fire sign. I mean, I know, you know, it sucks to slow down, but it does feel a little better uh, overall than dealing with your own fears, with your own emotions, with your own, ah, oh, you know. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.